Welcome to Drive You Home, the second channel of my main one. I just thought I'd do a quick video on this one because something's changed now in terms of tariff, which effectively for me mean that any solar divert options that you may have or may be thinking of getting almost or completely become redundant overnight if you get this tariff, the one that I've just been kind of shoved onto, but are quite grateful that it exists. Now, to get what I'm about to tell you, yeah, you have to be on Octopus Energy's intelligent tariff or intelligence tariff. I think you need a Tesla, certain VAG cars, an Omi charger, there's a few other chargers as well. Have a look on their website in terms of who can get it because you need certain cars or EV chargers to support it to then be able to get that tariff. So the tariff in question is this one. You get six hours at seven and a half pence per kilowatt hour. Uh, that's half past 11 at night until half past five in the morning, so a.m. And then it's about 30 pence, just shy, for the rest of the day. So you pay more during the day, but you get a super cheap nighttime rate, which if you have an electric car, uh, heat pumps, home batteries, it's brilliant because seven and a half pence is super cheap. But when it comes to solar panels, generating your own electricity, then it's always been better to use that energy, divert it into something like a hot water tank or the car, or just turn things on. So basically, use the excess solar as much as possible rather than export it to the grid. Because for a while now, since I went on Intelligent, in fact, I've only been getting 4.1 pence per kilowatt hour on their export tariff, which is fine. You know, it's how it's always been really, especially in a post-fit world. But this new tariff has changed things considerably. It's a new export tariff, which if you're on Intelligent, you seem to be automatically put onto. At least that's what happened when I got this email. And as I said, the export is down here at 4.1 pence-ish. Wherever I get my electricity from, the import is always more expensive. So that's why exporting has been pointless. But look what happens when I factor in this new tariff, which is no longer 4 pence per kilowatt hour, it's 15 pence per kilowatt hour. That's the export. Do, 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 do. Right, as you can see from that, all of a sudden, if you're getting paid 15 pence, that means, especially if you have a battery as well, you can do very well out of this because you can get electricity at seven and a half pence at night for six hours, and then you can get paid 15 pence by exporting that excess solar, so if you don't have a battery or anything like that, to the grid. So before, you used excess solar, now you don't want to use it. So don't save seven and a half, get 15. Yes, there's a few people that no doubt will quite like the idea of driving around on energy that you generate yourself, that is quite cool. But at the end of the day, especially if you've got a home battery, you can, well, make quite a bit of money from it, relative for a day anyway. You're not gonna be mega rich, don't get me wrong, but you know what I'm saying? You could charge your batteries up at night at seven and a half pence, and then tell those batteries to discharge during the day at uh, 15 pence, leaving enough, of course, to get you until the cheap period again. So when it comes to the solar divert option, so this is, imagine a house you just have solar panels on, nothing else, no home battery system, you just got the quite common solar divert stuff. Things like a, a Zappi Eddy, that either goes into a hot water tank or a, a car charger, there's other, other makes now available, of course. Well, you don't want to, as I said, divert them into your hot water, into your car. Because yes, you're saving seven and a half, but you could have got 15 by just letting the sun go back to the grid. And environmentally, there's no real difference. I know a lot of these manufacturers say, it's the ultimate green thing to solar divert it into your car or into your you know, hot water tank or whatever. But exporting it to the grid is just as good. It just, well, helps everyone. As far as the world's concerned, it's basically the same effect. If you're at the beginning of this, if you've just got solar panels or you're just getting solar panels or you're thinking about it in the future, then, well, I wouldn't bother. And I don't think these tariffs are going anywhere anytime soon. These are new tariffs that are coming out. There are other tariffs. It's not just Octopus that do this sort of thing, as I understand it, in terms of export tariffs. So, yeah, if you're just getting solar panels, then you might as well just put all your money towards something like a home battery rather than a solar divert option or, or a much more expensive home charger which has an option that now you're not really going to use and before anybody says it's probably unsustainable they'll lose loads of money on this they won't they're not stupid 
That's, that's why they do this time of day tariff. It helps balance the grid brilliantly. So for me, and I'm, you know, I'm not an expert in this, I might be wrong, the tariffs aren't going anywhere. So yeah, that's up to you. If you're thinking of getting solar panels and solar diverters on your list, I'd hang fire. So uh, yeah, that's uh, essentially it really on the second channel, the driving home channel. That's what this is for, these little extra nuggets, these bits of videos that wouldn't fill up a normal video if you like. So let me know what you think. Have you got just solar panels and you're thinking about getting other things? What's the next step? Does this change things for you? Have you got what I've got, but you can get Optifus Intelligent because you've not got the right car or something? Well, I'm sure they will change that at some point. I'm sure there are other options where you can get 15 pence or perhaps even more as an export tariff with other um, utilities out there. So this isn't the only way. I'm not saying it is. It's just I'm with Octopus and it's a lot easier for me to tell you about it. So right, let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to this channel. I imagine if you're watching this, you already know about my main channel, which is the, uh, you know, well, you know about it already. Like and subscribe, all the usual stuff. Thanks for watching. See you soon.